Hello, hello. Thank you for watching another round of Cooking with Gravy. Today we're going to make some keto bread. Now, today we're going to have a non-cheese based version of keto bread. Now, the version that we're going to have today is going to be more of just a nut base. You could uh, take the nuts out of it if you like that at all. Now, we're going to have two bowls we have right in front of us right now. One is we separated 12 eggs in a bowl of whites and next is a bowl of yolks. We have two teaspoons of cream of tartar and we're going to put the egg whites and the cream of tartar into a mixer. I don't recommend doing this by ha uh, hand for the mixing because it is going to just kill your hand. I usually prefer a machine to do this part. Let it mix the egg whites until you have white stiff peaks. Now today we're going to use almond flour and some stevia. The exact ingredients for this and measurements will be in the description section. You can alternate between almond flour and coconut flour if you want and today we're also going to be throwing some chai seeds and some walnuts into there. That one's going to be up to your uh, opinion of what you want for the amount. We're going to have some salt, some baking soda, and a little bit of some baking powder you, we're going to throw in there. Now, some people are going to want to use butter. Uh, some people are going to use coconut oil. I usually recommend four tablespoons of either one, uh, not hot, but melted. Now, this is what the end results are going to be for the egg whites. It's going to be more of a cream base now, so it's going to be a little more stiffer. Now, we're going to take that, and next we're going to put all the ingredients that we just talked about. We're just going to throw everything into two bowls, then we're going to combine them. So this is the bowl with all the ingredients that are already there. And then we're going to mix the egg whites and the other bowl together gently, so you don't release the air packets that were made through the mixing process for the egg whites. Then you're going to put them into a greased pan and you're going to put it in the oven at 350 degrees and try to bake it for 30 to 45 minutes. The best way of doing this is until you can bake it to the point you can pull like a knife or toothpick in there and pull it out cleanly. Then after that, you pretty much have keto bread. Tastes really good, like it a lot. You can alternate between the flour to make it stiffer if you want, but hope you enjoy.